Yun ay tatanong ko sana, Seka, yung, yung Duterte, Duterte or Go Duterte. Sabasan nyo ngayon at this point, kay Presidente, is he interested in running for Vice President after si, his term? Is he open si to si the idea? Si Presidente, magiging open lang yan pag makita niyang may clamor. Pag malakas ang clamor, pareho mo, di ba? Ayaw na ayaw niya. Last moment. Pero kung nakikita, talaga, di, kikwentuhan ko kayo, ang isang incident, nung hindi na siya nag-file, ang namo, October, hindi siya nag-file, di ba? And then, I think, a week after that, meron kami yung pinuntahan na premier sa Mayor Hall. <clears throat> Ibigyan namin. Premium movie show. Alam mo ba na pagdating namin doon sa Mega Mall, sa parking, it takes only, I think, three minutes from the parking lot doon sa cinema. Diba? Uh, Lapit lang mo na eh. But it took us one hour and a half. Kasi sinalubong siya ng tao talagang ayaw siyang pahawalan. Ganon din yung pag-alis namin. The same story. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, wala talagang nag-declara ka ng ayaw. Ayaw gusto ng tao. Wala ka talaga magagawa. You have to, sabi mo na yun, they kept on repeating to him that he had a date with destiny and an appointment with history. Whether he likes it or not, talagang tatakbo at mananalo siya, overwhelmed niya. Yun na. Pero masasabi niyo na he has not closed the door to running for vice president. Kasi... Well, I ask him, ito ang sagot niya, hayaan ko, hayaan ko yun sa Diyos. Give it to God. Sabi niya. That was his exact words. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, was naniniwala siya na kung talagang nakatadhana ka, eh, yun ang mangyari. Kung ang mga Diyos ang tadhana, eh, itinalaga ka dyan, wala kang magagawa, kundi susundin mo. Sir, that, was an, that was an interesting anecdote ang kinikwento ninyo na yung sa parking lot hanggang dun sa theater, eh, yeah. eh, ang, ang laki ng crowd. So, so you're saying that that was uh, what was instrumental in making the President decide to actually cast his, uh, to cast his hat in the ring. Among others, kasi meron, point. May, may, among others, kasi merong incident na, hindi ba, kasi tagal kami nag-uusap after that, eh, magkwento yun eh. After that premium, nag, nag-uusap kami doon sa uh, isang restaurant. Tagal kami nag-kwento nga. So, lahat ng arguments na, I tried to dispute it. At kung ano mang napaniwala ko siya, kung mga sinasabi yung punto ni Vista. And sabi niya, sige, patagalin mo hanggang December. Kaya lang, nung nagkaroon ng ruling ang uh, Presidential Electoral Tribunal na sinasabi ng Natural Born Citizens si Chris Po, you know, nung mabasa ko yun, I went on air and castigated that decision. And then, tinawagan ko si Presidente. Tama-tama, nanonood din pala siya, nalaman niya. Galit na galit niya, sabi niya, three eyes, sabi niya, they're fucking with the Constitution. I'm going to run whether I win or not, because they're fucking with us. A few days after that, birthday ni Fred Lane, yung sa part four, hindi hmm. bumating siya, nagantay kami, mga one hour, but it was just a statement. Walang kakurap-kurap, sinabi niya, I'm running for president whether I win or not, because they are effing the constitution. Well, well, sir, I asked that because you know, during, during that time there were there were there, there was uh, some speculation na baka, you know that it was uh, part of a it was all part of a a, a plan to parang uh, uh, ba uh, to tease the public uh, by by hedging on uh, on the decision and then the last minute suddenly turning around and then going full blast uh, at least that was one of the spe- that was one, that was a speculation eh na it was part Sinadya. of a pangkilite oh mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. De, talaga ang ayaw niya no ay tanong anong gawin mo sa kanya ayaw niya alam mo yung binigyan niya sa akin resources na sinira ako sabi niya number one, sabi niya ayaw ng asawa ko si Elizabeth wag kang tatakbo kasi pag tumakbo ka papabayaan mo yung mga anak mo pamamatay ka pa diyan. Marami. Number two, sabi niya, I will not run unless Inday Sara run for mayor. Kasi hindi ko papabayaan ang tabaw. Masyado ng malaking in-invest ko dyan para mapalitan lamang, masira lamang. Sabi niya, number three, sabi niya, marami akong sakit. Sabi ko naman, hindi naman life-threatening yan, pareho lang sakit natin. 
number four, sabi niya, wala akong pera. Eh sabi ko, alam mo yung pera, darating na lang yan pag nakita. Kasi may nagsabi sa akin na mga kaibigan ko. Sabi niya, magdeklara lang siya na he will reconsider. Maglalagay kagad kami ng seed money for his campaign. Okay. Sir, you mean all this time si Martin Dino really intended to run for president? No. Yung, yung key, ano, kasi nung ayaw siyang, ayaw niya na, ayaw niya, hindi na na siya nagdeklara. So, uh, isa ako sa mga nagsuggest, I don't know kung may nagsuggest pa yun, pero tinawagan ko yung grupo. Sabi ko, magpa-file kayo ng isang tao dyan, kahit na sino, doesn't matter who, basta partido natin. Para pwede tayo mag-substitution. Hindi ko alam na si, si Dino ang nag-file. Alam ko lang after. Pero wala sa, wala sa aking isipan na siya. Kahit na sino ako, yun ang sabi niyo. Wow, well, wait, wait. So, pinatak, nagpatakbo ka knowing na uh, baka magbago yung isip or bala na si Batman kung kung ano, kung hindi ma ganun ba yun? Ay, naku, curious ako. Nagpatakbo ka ng tao eh, para... Nagsuggest ako, nagsuggest ako na kailangan meron tayong kailangan kasi may option pa eh. May December substitution eh. Eh, kung walang tatakbo doon ng presidente na kapartido mo, ay, hindi ka pa pwede mag-substitute. So it was an option just in case the president finally decided. Yun nga, so, yeah, yeah, so, so nga, ano, option yun eh. Uh -huh. So it it was it was it specifically for President Duterte, candidate Duterte, or yes. you were open to any other oh, candidate? Oh, alam para sa kanya yun na sabi sabi namin. Eh, paano kung ma uh, ma makonvince natin? Eh, paano katatagpo kung malaking kapalitan? Iba. Kailangan kasi kapartido ko eh. 